Did your team pass? It's about that time for teams to be evaluated with the regular season officially in the books and just 12 clubs still fighting for a chance to win it all. Each team came into the year with different, realistic, expectations, from the Browns hoping to finish .500 to the Broncos aiming at second consecutive Super Bowl. Obviously, not every team was up to par as far as the regular season goes, so we're here to tell you which received a passing grade in 2016 and which ones failed. Arizona Cardinals, C. The Cardinals came into the year with higher expectations than most teams after winning 13 games in 2015. They didn't go to 14 or anything, but considering how talented the roster was, the Cardinals fell well short of the standard we've come to expect from them. Atlanta Falcons, A. The Falcons surprised a lot of people this season by winning the NFC South and clinching the number two seed. Part of their resurgence is thanks to the connection between quarterback Matt Ryan and coordinator Kyle Shanahan, but the running game has also helped. Even if the Falcons go one and done in the playoffs, the season has to be viewed as a huge success. Baltimore Ravens, C+. Joe Flacco appears to be regressing despite posting his first 4,000-yard passing season. The Ravens were relatively healthy for most of the year despite a few injuries, but they still failed to make the playoffs in a down year for the AFC North. Buffalo Bills, C. The Bills were terrible on defense, and their passing attack was among the worst in the league. Sure, they led the league in rushing, but what did that get them? Ask Rex Ryan. Carolina Panthers, D+. The offensive line was banged up, Cam Newton got little help from his receivers and the pass defense was atrocious. However, Newton's struggles seemed to get the most attention, mainly because, well, he was bad in coming off his 2015 MVP season. However, the Panthers as a whole failed to fit the bill of being a perennial contender just one season after reaching the Super Bowl. Chicago Bears, D. Jay Cutler's injury threw a wrench into the Bears' plans, but he was far from their only issue. They need to rebuild on defense and add playmakers on offense. Number 1 receiver Alshon Jeffrey also proved this season that he can't be trusted to play 16 games and be productive. Cincinnati Bengals, D. From AFC North champions to third place in one season, the Bengals took a huge step backward in 2016. Everything from the offensive line to Andy Dalton's play was subpar, and it's why they missed out on the postseason. Every team is allowed a down year, but with mostly the same roster as last season, aside from losing two receivers, there's little excuse for this performance. Getty Images Andy Lyons Cleveland Browns, D. No one expected the Browns to make any noise this season, and that's the reason they don't get a failing grade despite going 1-15. The rebuilding process is in full effect. Dallas Cowboys, A+. You know the story, no Tony Romo, two rookies, Des Bryant's injury. The list goes on, yet Dallas posted the second-best record in the NFL. Not winning the Super Bowl would obviously be disappointing, but this is merely a regular season grade, so they passed with flying colors. Denver Broncos, B. The defending champs failed to make the playoffs due to underwhelming offensive play, but it'd be unfair to call this season a failure. They lost Peyton Manning to retirement, C.J. Anderson to injury and Danny Trevithan and Malik Jackson to free agency. They deserve some slack for a disappointing year. Detroit Lions, B+. The Lions snuck into the playoffs on Matthew Stafford's arm, and while they don't have much of a shot to make a deep run, their season was definitely a success. They surpassed expectations and were more than competitive in the NFC North. Give them some credit, even if they didn't beat many good teams. Green Bay Packers, A. After 10 weeks, the Packers probably would have received a grade of t. They looked like they'd come up well short of the playoffs only to see Aaron Rodgers carry them to the postseason behind six straight wins. They certainly should have been better than 10-6 but everyone is 0-0 when the playoffs begin. Houston Texans, B. The Texans were fortunate to make the playoffs despite having a negative point differential. 
The weak AFC South played a huge role in their success, though they probably shouldn't be praised too much for getting into the postseason. They're just not a very good team outside of their stout defense. Indianapolis Colts, C+. Another year, another missed postseason for the Andrew Luck-led Colts. This season in particular was disappointing, seen as 10-6 or 9-7, with a tiebreaker, could have gotten them into the playoffs. They probably deserve worse than.